The Mask for the SNES is a very ambitious game, and I feel that they did a pretty good job in capturing the essence of the film. Matter of fact, they did an excellent job in it. The animations, um, just uh, all the little quirks and uh, different weapons he uses, stuff like that, it did a really good job of mimicking how the movie was. Uh, for the most part, for this uh, walkthrough, I'm not going to show you how to get everything but i'm going to show you how to get the essential things to be able to beat the game just because there's hundreds and hundreds of power-ups you have to get and they're all hidden and stuff like that but for the most part there's the thing where you have to collect the milos which gives you extra hit points and uh morph points to use your special weapons um that is a very very vital point um to beat the game and i'll show you uh kind of how to kind of i'm going to show you how to beat the bosses in the game uh for uh, the easiest way just to kind of run through them uh so if you're looking for a super in-depth one maybe this one isn't for you but if you're looking for all the milos and how to beat the bosses then i'll show you how to do this welcome to the mask The mask. Let's get started. So let's go to the options. And there's quite a bit of stuff that you can go in here. So let's take a look at the controller options first because this is actually kind of important. So you can see that there are tons of different uh, things and this isn't even showing you all the all the moves. There are also combinations where you can hit like up and X or down and you know it's just different buttons. So the sneak is uh you go real slow um zip is extremely fast uh run is pretty much what we're going to be doing the whole time um and then there's uh mallet and tornado I'll, I'll show you guys all the different moves as the game goes on so let's just get out of this let's go to the player options and you can change the starting lives and you can do everything from easy normal to hard the only difference between hard and easy is i believe the uh the amount of lives you can uh, you start out with or you can have something like that uh, We're just gonna do easy because just whatever we're just starting out <clears throat> Like I said, there's no difference in the gameplay So let's go to exit and start the game So this is all about the game is pretty much all about exploration we start out in Stanley Ipkiss's uh, Apartment building if you're familiar with the movie uh, he lives in an apartment building. He's got a landlord that's uh, some old lady who is actually the first boss in the game. So there are um, uh, hidden stuff everywhere. And the main objective is to collect cash. And on the bottom, we have the M, which gives us our special moves. And our hit points are uh, are within a uh, right by the mask on the top left. So... Um, with these guys, all the enemies in the game, you gotta hit them tons of times, but the best thing to do is just really just stand there and punch them until they're done. You could duck under this cat person. So let's, you can slide if you run, remember hold down right and then go over and then hit down. If you ever see a crack, uh, you can hit the uh, X button and it'll break through the thing. So, diamond is just money. It's just a $1,000. Um, so, let's go here. You can slide forever if you want. Oh, stupid cat. Game's rigged. This game sucks. The hearts will re-up your, uh, your hit points. So, if you need to jump high, push up and jump. Hey, not cool. Not cool at all. The M gives us more uh, the, of the 
uh, morph, I think it's called. So you can hit the this with a mallet. Come on now. I'm just gonna go wild. Look how much morph points I used. So to get past him, actually let's get away from him, and we can hit the, I think the left button, and you can sneak past him. But we don't really need to do this, it's easier just to pretty much run past him. So let's hit, hit this with the mallet, go down, take this knucklehead out. Now, it's noteworthy that pretty much the uh, main thing in the game, actually when you see the little shining thing, that means you can go through it, is to get a Milo. And uh, Milo is hidden, is it's uh, the dog. If you're not familiar with it, it's, uh, see, so much easier just to run past him. Um, there's a hidden Milo in every level and what that does is gives you a uh, 50 more hit points and 50 more morph points so with this guy I'm gonna shoot him and your most heavy uh, weapon is your gun but it also takes up the most morph points which is a hundred and you can do this by I think by hitting up and uh, a up and a so it's and you have to, you can't be a, around anything, or you can't do it. Like, if you're too close to the wall, I could try to do it. See, he's about to pull him out, but it stops, because he doesn't have enough animation uh, to do the thing. So this is a checkpoint, or a continue point. So if you die, you're going to start where, the, where you find the hat. And if you want to jump, like, so if you're going to jump, you can jump and hold the run button and you'll do a whole, a, a lot faster of a jump. Like, if you want to get anywhere special. So, notice how that thing's shiny? That means we can go through it. So let's go up there. there and just check everywhere because there's stuff just in so many different parts of this game i mean you can go up here if you want but i think we're actually going to go in there so let's go through here though oh wow that bullet went pretty far so i think we can no this isn't it no there's a milo hidden uh pretty soon here. Is there a crack on the floor? No. Oh, here it is. Hit this. Hit that. Oh, I think here it is. Yeah, here's where the Milo is hidden. So if you go over next to this radiator and hit down and jump, there it is. So notice we have 550 hit points and 550 morph points now instead of 500. It really helps out during the game, especially in the later levels, to have these extra hit points and morph points. I mean, okay, so what, what else you can do? You can run and punch them too. You can just go back and forth and punch them like this. Here, I'll demonstrate on this guy. You could do that. Or you can do a tornado by hitting the X button. Or, no, no, that's the uh, A button. X button does the mallet. Or the down and A button will do the guns. And the... You know, you don't have to... Um, kill everything. You know, you can just let it be. It doesn't really do anything for you. 
except for take away your morph point. So see, I could just choose not to kill that clock. Where am I? Where do I need to go? Oh, there we go. We do a tornado. To undo the tornado, just hit the uh, a, the um, a button again. Yoink! Go through here. We can go down this way. There's some hidden stuff in here. There we go. So let's do this first. I think there's a yeah. I knew that clock was here somewhere. All right. Cool. So, I think we can go through this. Yeah, there's an extra guy here. So, extra guys are the masks. So, now we have five. So, now let's backtrack. And we're almost done with the level. To do a high jump, I remember you hit up and... Uh, Uh, up and jump. Let's go through this. Okay, here is uh, Mrs. Peenman. So the easiest thing to do is just shoot her, but I could play around with her to show you a couple different techniques. They could shoot her, but then you could just hop over her bullets and like. Forgot about the Auga horn. You hit up and uh, uh, up and uh, X to do the Auga horn. The easiest thing is just shoot her three times. I was just messing around. Here is the second level, which is like I think outside or something. Yeah. Whoops. Not cool at all, dude. Now there is, watch this, if we go all the way to the left, there's a, a, a mask, but I don't know how to get it. It's interesting. If you know how to get that mask, let me know in the comments. You're like, oh, I thought you were doing this walkthrough. Although that is technically true, I'm not a real expert at this game. I just, I mean, I'm decent at it. But I'm, uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of other people that are a lot better. But for the majority, I'll show you guys how to pretty much get all the stuff you need to beat the game. Oh, these clowns are a joke. Like, if you don't have to kill them, don't. A lot of times they'll just fall off of the thing. Or if you could trap them like this, that's fine. I think we could drop down somewhere. There's something. Come on. Look at that. Would you look at that? Okay. These things can be a bit tricky. There's a... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now we need, um... Let's go over here. Oh, there's Milo, brave little guy. Hey. 
Yeah, I think there's something. There's a... Hey, come on now. I think there's a secret around here. I think it's... There we are. And then, yeah, jump up high. And we can get that. I think... Yeah, okay. Now let's uh, go through this. Now those things take three hits to kill. So, like, just leave the clown there. Like, you don't get anything special by taking him out. Come on, dude, really? Huh? Alright, I'm on a mission now. I'm gonna take you out the most violent way I know how to. No, nope, sorry dude. I'm I'm going I'm going out of my way to hurt you. You caused me grief. Where am I? Do I go through this? Okay, here is the uh, first mini boss. So the easiest way to take this thing out is to run and just hit. Just go back and forth. There we are. And I bet we can probably just shoot this thing. Really? Oh, we could ah, Ooga Horn it. There we are. But look how much morph points that took. Give me an M. There's all sorts of little gems in this thing. A lot of animation. Even down to the little splat. Come on now. Jeez. Fine, I'll soup. <laughs> what, what's my problem? If you know what my problem is, let me know in the comments. <laughs> this is this sucks, man. What's going on? Come on, man. Basic platforming in its purest form. Some tell me there's something over always over to the left. Ooh, there was. Get me out of that section. Okay. Let's do the same thing. So we're going to have to take this out the slow way. Which is just punching it. Just watch out for the thing and just go up here and unleash on it. You can probably ah, ooga horn it. And notice, so when your hit points or your morph points go below 50, it takes a little bit, but they will regenerate themselves. See how they're doing right now? They'll slowly go back to uh, 50. It takes 30 points to Auga Horn, which is a pretty uh, melee, melee attack. It's not worth very much. I think the mallet's stronger than that. So here comes where the Milo is. So to get there, hit up and jump right here. Or just up. And you can hit Milo <laughs> with the thing. Now look, we have 600. Uh, of each. So that's going to help out. So once I get the uh, the Milo thing, like I'm pretty much like, okay, uh, let's go find the boss type thing. I mean, unless there's uh 
Come on, fat boy. Uh... Uh, unless there's something real special, like, I don't really care. There's just too much stuff in the game. Like that, I don't care about the cash. But better believe the clown will be waiting. Alright, screw this, huh? Everyone dies. Just like that, I'm back, baby. I'll take that gem. Alright, here we go. Let's shoot this guy. Hey. There we are. Okay. That guy's kind of difficult. So if he keeps hitting you, just jump up on the thing and just wait for him to jump and then go back down. Alright, here is the third level. This is a lot like the last level. I don't really know what it's supposed to be in the movie. I used to own the movie on VHS. I watched it so many times. So I don't really know what this is this is supposed to be. The mask. Screw it. Punk. Don't mess around. Oops. Stupid. I think there's a... There it is. There's Milo. Damn, 650, baby. I'm like, I knew there was a thing around here somewhere. No, come on. Wait for the thing, the windows to open. There we go. Stupid. Oh, wait for the windows to open, huh? Whoops. I mean, 
climb up there. Whoops. That stupid thing. Now with this, I mean, you don't have to fight these guys if you don't want to. I don't really recommend fighting them. They're bad news, unless, unless you want to, unless they make you mad. Alright, dude. Okay, let's shoot this dude. Just shoot. Come on. Come on, dude. There we are. We wasted one of our shots. Because, like, I think if they hit you before you get the shot off, it'll ruin it. Okay, here we are at the park. Where the infamous Cuban Pete song happened. These guys can be kind of tough. Just because they're always moving around. And there's tons of stuff, like, in the, uh... In the trees. I don't really like this level. What I'm doing is just tapping back and forth in the punch button. Whoops, I missed the, uh, that one thing. But whatever. Um. Venture out on your own and have fun. I'm here just to show you the Milos. The things that really count. Come on, dude! Stupid. game sucks. So just stand in there and punching him doesn't work. You gotta do the little run thing. So here's where the Milo is. Go in this garbage can. Take out this dude and then we, we'll grab Milo. Yoink. Good boy, Milo. Good boy. Who's a real good boy? Alright, let's go through here. So we're up to 700, which is pretty good, because we're going to need pretty much everything we got when it comes to the next, uh, well, the last boss fight. The last boss fight's like the longest fight in the world. And this at one, actually, this boss fight is, is no joke either. This is probably like the second hardest boss fight in the game.
All right, we're uh, at the end here. Go through here. And let's fall down here. And let's shoot this guy. Oh, did he ruin one of my shots? You hippie. So, the way to get him is run and slide. Auga horn him. Auga again. Like, this fight's gonna take a while now because he ruined two of our shots. I'm gonna Auga horn ya. I'm gonna Auga you again, dude. can't believe he ruined two of our shots. Oh, really, man? We're only down to 200? 150? I keep hitting the wrong button. Alright, let's play uh, Cautionary. I don't want to get... By something. Come on. These boss fights can be long. twice and I'm not going down I'm gonna die dang it stupid this game sucks all right, screw this, man. He's going down now, ASAP, ASAP. Whoops. Come on. Not this time, man. I believe I died. Stupid. That's what you get, man, when you mess around. Oh, really? You want to dodge that? You want to dodge my slide? Whoops. I'm not I I Ooga horn you. Oh, he's dead. See? L look how easy that fight was. It's just you screwed. I screwed up and, and wasted two of my guns on him. All right, welcome to cell block C. Whoops. Come on, you wanna stab me? Now, according to the programmer on this, there used to be, uh, um, I'm gonna violently take you out. Uh, there used to be cops in this level, but they didn't want to affiliate themselves with, uh, uh, beating up cops. So I hit up in, uh, up in X. 
Whoops. To turn the... To pull that lever. Whoops. Or I think you just have to hit up. Yeah, you just have to hit up. Oh, my controller! Got unplugged. Stupid! This controller sucks. Man, never get a, a dual shock wireless one where you're gonna use wired. Cause like the, it's like a USB. No, it's one of those cheap ones. Did I, I didn't I just go through this? Oh come on. The stupid thing keeps coming unplugged during pivotal game point moments. Where am I? I don't even know where. Oh, here I am. Okay. Yeah, how you like me now? went through that. Okay, so I think we have to hit the... this one. Whoops. What's going on, man? Now you hit this one. Oops. Oh. Alright. <laughs> nice try, sucker. Yeah, see, like, I will choose to not fight them if I don't have to. Cool, dude. Whoa, what the heck? What was that? Man, this game is like supercharged. Oh, there's the splat animation. Okay, so... Gym. Man, each. What were they thinking? Like each each thing, enemy takes like. 25 hits, 23 hits. Okay, here comes the Milo thing. Uh, up right here. Oh, I wanted to hit him with the... Ooh, there we go. Hey, no, take me back. So, once again, it's up here.
Was I just here? Yeah. So I think I need to go, what, up the stovepipe? Okay, Auga Horn him. Straight Auga Horn him. Don't do anything else. Smokin'. Smokin'. Is that what he says? He says smokin'. This level sucks. Whoops. I don't even want to mess with it. I don't even know where I am. I'm in flavor country. Whoops. Come on, go through there. The mask. That's right, two at once. So we get it done. Oh wait, there we go. There's Milo. Yoink. My goat, this place looks familiar. I'm just gonna, I guess I can go through here, see what's, and hit, uh, push up. Yep. We kind of got out of here a lot earlier, but... It's like, alright, well... Let's find some stuff if you want. So just free fall. fall through. I i don't want to play this level anymore. It's like I'm sure there's some cool stuff to find. Oh really dude? You want to try to shank me? gotta go through the top one. Yeah, there we are. And then we're pretty much at the end. Let's go here. Boom. There, as you can tell, there's a lot more stuff to grab, but like, we don't really need it. If you want to explore on your own, go ahead. Like I said, 
I'm here for one thing only, to show you where the Milos are and how to beat the bosses. Alright, here's the last level. So what we want to do is we want to slide across these monkeys. Go up here and we'll go on this part. So... There's quite a bit of stuff, but we don't need it. It's just... We're already maxed out as it is, so let's try to go into these things. I think that'll just... Oh yeah, we gotta go through here. best thing to do is just take out the guns. Alright, now there's uh, this one. Oops. Try that again. It can be quite difficult. Uh, nope. Let's... Uh, <laughs> this. Alright. Now, there's just the matter of the center one that we have to go to, go through. It's, come on. There we are. Here is... Oh, we already went through it. I think we have to actually go through the top one. The one that we fall out of. Maybe not. There's something... Come on. Where am I? There is something we have to do here. Not the left one. Oh, never mind. There we are. Cool. Hold on a second. Uh. Oh no. I just backtracked. Stupid. Stupid of me. But I think at least I know where to go now. Right? Go through this one. Come on. Now. Go through this and then... Right. Yeah, then go through that. Okay. Here I am. I think we'll oh, we go this way. There's somewhere I need to... Oh, here we go. Do that. Sometimes it's not worth fighting the monkeys. Just slide past them. Come on, dude. Come on! Everyone's dying now. Okay, this is a good spot, because, uh... We can re-up on everything. This is a vital point where, um... We could regain our all our hit points back. 
and our morph points. This is going to be the same thing where the boss fight is. The same thing uh, is going to be available when we're fighting Dorian Tyrell. There's going to be the jazz players that, uh, see there's Cameron Diaz. Where's the thing? Oh. Come on! Man, I'm sick of this game. Alright, here comes Milo. Wait, wait, it's right here? No, Milo is coming up though. Here we are. Here's the Milo room. Okay, so jump up right here. And come here, Milo. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here, Milo. Bam. <laughs> come here, boy. So slide. Uh oh. Whoops. Where am I? Where do I... Oh, yeah, I have to hit down. here and I think this is the boss yep this is definitely the boss Payback. so let's shoot him let's start shooting him Payback. Payback. so you see how there's these Payback. those little notes It keeps doing that payback thing. So a good way to do this is to run over here and wait for him to shoot and then slide past him and then grab some of these and then regain some of your health back and then we can shoot him. So even though he is hitting us, we are getting quite a bit of those morph payback. points back. Payback. Come on. We're doing that payback, dude. That's cheap. Payback. Fine, I'll shoot you. How do you like that? Ugh. Payback. Payback. 
Payback. Payback. All right, fine, dude. I'm gonna shoot you some more. How do you like that, Dorian Tyrell? Or how about Iuga Horn? Yeah, it's gonna blow his mind. <laughs> Slide. Oh no, man, he's getting me pretty good. But I'm gonna get him better. I don't understand what that whole payback thing is. Like, how does he get me? Uh-oh. I'm gonna hit him with a mallet. Because I don't like his face. Give me some of these hit points back. Come on. How about this for payback? It's a long boss fight. It would be really hard if they didn't have these little musical notes. Auga horn ya. And I hit you with a mallet. Payback. Payback, is that the only move you know? We have to be careful. Because... He keeps doing that stupid payback thing. How about this, huh? Uh-oh. Alright, let's do the slidey thing. Wait for him to shoot. I need these more than anything. Alright, let's do the thing again. A little slidey move. I told you it's a long boss fight. Payback. Payback. Come on, give me the... Yeah. <laughs> ah, ooh, God. Come on. Screw this, man. Quit. Oh, no. If I, if I die, I will not forgive myself. Come on, dude. Uh-oh. Let's do this again. Slidey move, get two of the notes on the right. Uh-oh, I'm gonna die! Shoot! Come on, give me all these, give me them. Man, did you see I had five hit points left? I'm like, I am not going to. I'm not going down like that. This is such a long, just grueling boss fight. Slide. Yeah. Come on, man. He's dead! We beat him! We just beat the mask! Smoking! Smoking! Yes, and then the infamous dance with Carmen Di Car uh, Cameron Diaz. I never noticed that pig on the wall. Interesting. Such great animation in this. Oh man, I can't believe I got down to five hit points. I'm like, I am not gonna die. This is not gonna happen. We did it, man. We got all the Milos. We beat all the bosses. <sighs> Brutal fight.
brutal fight. All right, so that was the mask for the SNES. I'll let you guys enjoy the credits, and I will see you for my final rating and my final thoughts. That was a nasty little blurb of everybody who worked on it. It's like, for how good graphics this game is, and for it to be out in 1995, why did you make it like you created the last picture with all the people that worked on the game? Um, like you dipped your hand in like Chef Boyardee and just drew everybody to the best of your knowledge. It was... That was a little weird. But anyways, the game was great. The game's fun. It's a pretty fun walkthrough. Um, a bit tedious with the amount of special weapons and stuff there is. Or just how many little cash and just power up stuff like that. The game went above and beyond. Uh, which is cool if you want to do the exploration thing and you want to take your time. Um, just a bit too much stuff. I think they probably could have done without the tornado. In it, the mallet's cool, sure, the guns, whatever, but the guns take too long to do. It's like you're like, Whoo, and then you notice in the walkthrough, sometimes I wasted him because he was almost had the guns out, but then the enemy hits you and then you waste them. And it's such a big uh, drawback if you lose any of your shots because it takes a hundred of the morph points. So that wasn't very cool. Um, let's see here, what else? What else would I change in it? Um, you, they didn't, you don't really need to use the sneaky, um, thing where he's just tiptoeing that, I mean, sure, cool, you added it, that's great. Um, or there's the zip thing, which I didn't even use at all. I, I feel that the run is more than fast enough. Uh, this is a really good game to speed run. I watched uh, a speed run of it where the guy, uh, who actually programmed it, was doing some commentary on it and originally it was supposed to be for uh the sega genesis but then it got scrapped and so they're like okay well we're gonna make it for the snes and um they just took some artwork from uh the developers that were doing it through sega uh and just incorporated it through the snes version and they kind of trimmed down the size of the sprites in it um yeah, the guy didn't really go into too much deal, detail about it. It was weird. You know, a lot of those speedrun things, especially when they're done live, um, I think it's like good day, good games done quick or something like that, especially in the earlier years. There's a lot of cringy moments in it and a lot of just like, uh, like just awkward pauses and stuff like that. And the guy's feed was on it was had like a, a minute delay or something so like the dude was like a whole level ahead of the guy that was watching it from the developer so it was it was kind of weird but anyways i'm getting off topic uh i'm gonna go ahead and rate this game <sighs> man it's a it's a b it's a b minus it's a c plus no it's a b minus it's a b minus I mean, when it's all said and done, it's a fun game. So it gets a B minus. There's a lot of things that were wrong with it that I felt that they could have done better. A lot of the levels just seem to be tedious, especially uh, not the prison level. The prison level wasn't very fun, but the one after that, it was like he was in some castle or something. It's like, where was that in the movie? Like, okay, I understand, yeah, sure, he went to jail, but, like, where's the castle? I want to know where the mask went to a castle in the movie. Dumb, you know? <laughs> Anyways, 
Uh, I think you guys heard enough of my uh, thoughts on life. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the film. Or this video. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. And I'll see you next video game. <laughs>